Hey guys, what's going on? Insidious Swede back again here for another YouTube video. And today I wanted to talk a little bit more about Berserk. Um, before I get into the topic at hand, however, I first wanted to say I will be showing off artwork from volumes um, at least 21 and back. So if you haven't read through uh, the Conviction arc in Berserk, you might want to skip this video or maybe just listen to it. Um, but again, I want to show off art while I'm talking about my, my thoughts um, so you guys have something to watch. Uh, so keep that in mind. But let's get into it. So a couple days ago, I finished the Conviction arc here with Volume 21 for the second time. I have now read through Berserk Volume 21 twice and through the Golden Age arc three times. So I've read this series through quite a bit and I decided finally after reading through the Conviction arc twice to go ahead and move on to Volume 22. Now, if you guys did not know, I have never read past Volume 21. I've always felt the Conviction arc was a very good place to stop and with Kentaro Miura being a very slow uh, writer, he goes on a lot of hiatuses. I didn't want to get caught up and then all of a sudden have this, you know, feeling that I, I couldn't find out what happens next. If you're in the middle of an arc, if you're in the middle of a cliffhanger, I just hate being in that position. So I always felt comfortable stopping at volume 21. Uh, but the, for the first time, I decided, you know what? I can't wait any longer. I need to read more. So I finally decided uh, to continue on, but an idea hit me. It hit me yesterday and I was thinking about it and I was, you know, sitting down really being mesmerized yet again by this incredible manga. And it got me thinking and a, and a thought popped into my head, which is how underrated is everything after the Golden Age arc? Now hear me out. I'd say over my span on YouTube here after talking about Berserk, I'd say, you know, a handful of times. I've gotten maybe, you know, a couple dozen comments, if not more, and I've also seen comments throughout the YouTube community that say everything after the Golden Age arc in Berserk is not worth reading. Seriously, people have said and believe that everything after the Golden Age arc is not even worth reading. And I just, it almost makes me want to laugh because I'm maybe in, in the minority here, but I think uh, post Golden Age Arc Berserk is almost as good as everything in the actual Golden Age. I know I think a lot of people out there believe the Golden Age Arc is so far ahead of everything else in this manga that it's almost a different series. Now, I can understand where you're coming from, but I do not believe that to be the case. Uh, now, for me, the Golden Age Arc is something of an enigma, right? Because the whole point of the Golden Age arc was to be the backstory, right? In volume uh, one through three, right before the Golden Age arc starts, we're basically learning about Guts as a character. Uh, we're learning about the villains, about uh, you know who he is, what the mark on his neck means, and we're really just getting exposed uh, to this entire world. However, once we get into the Golden Age arc, the whole point is to give us the backstory, right? For us to figure out where all of these characters came from, what their purpose was or is, and you know, who we're supposed to hate, essentially. And it's it's very funny because, again, think about that. The Golden Age, the Golden Age arc, the whole point of that entire arc was to be the backstory. It was supposed to tell us everything we needed to know so we could move on to what actually matters and what's happening in the present for Berserk. But instead, Kentaro Mira created such an amazing arc that it got to a point where nobody wanted to even, you know, read anything else besides that arc because of how good it was. And I think in many ways it's kind of uh, almost hindered the series because, you know, of what readers are expecting. And it's a kind of a shame because on uh, Twitter the other day I posted about how criminally underrated I felt the the, uh, the conviction arc was. You know, it does with, it deals with a lot of themes of uh, you know a deity and this belief in God. And there's this very interesting scene that happens in Volume 21 
where essentially every person who carries this belief and is, and is following this guy is essentially slaughtered for their beliefs because they weren't willing to sacrifice them. It's a very interesting look, and there's a lot of themes like that in Berserk. It's also in the Golden Age arc. Berserk is a very uh, faith-driven series, maybe not directly, but it's definitely influenced a lot of the themes in this manga, almost, you know, building uh, Griffith to be this antichrist in a way. There's a lot of stuff like that in Berserk. Again, that's probably another video, but I just, I'm sitting here and I'm reading uh, through the Conviction arc. I've read through the Golden Age arc three times, and I find all of it to be so compelling, so interesting. And when we're following this, you know, character around in Guts, we're learning about who he is, the characters that matter uh, to him, especially Casca and her story, which, by the way, gets overlooked quite a lot. How uh, interesting of a uh, psychological, you know, experiment that's been with a character to take her from a confident young uh, swordsman to somebody who's literally depraved of basically humanity and doesn't even know how to be a, a normal functioning human being. Uh, anyways, so my whole my whole point here today, guys, is to ask you a very important question. Why, if you're one of the few who believe that there's no point in reading anything past the Golden Age arc, why do you feel this way? I mean, I understand that the Golden Age arc did a lot of stuff that Berserk had never done since then or never matched since then. And I understand, you know, a lot of the great characters in the Golden Age arc were completely ripped from the manga. So maybe in that sense, it can take away your interest in the characters because the ones you were following, you know, disappeared or died or because you don't find Guts a compelling main character, or do you find the villains that Guts is going against not to be very compelling? And again, I can't speak for Berserk past this volume, because again, I've never read past volume 21. I'm just now finally doing that for the first time. Uh, so again, I can't speak to that, but overall, everything post the Golden Age is still very good. It's just different. It's dealing with different ideas, different topics, and different characters. But overall, I think the entire series of Berserk is more than worth reading. The Golden Age arc, in my opinion, only makes it even more so. But anyways, guys, let me know what you feel. I want to hear from you for sure in this video. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. But anyways, guys, until next time, my name is Insidious Swede. Take care.